On today's episode of the Pier series, I have a really awesome one. I am finally doing a little bit more questing, uh, which is something I've been needing to do uh, for a little while now. If you guys don't know, the Kingdom Divided quest has been out for a hot minute, and those actually unlock um, thralls in your account. And thralls are basically little NPCs that you can summon that will help you uh, deal damage. Uh, passively, um, whether you're doing uh, Chambers of Zarek, whether you're doing some PVMing, and overall just a great thing to have on your account. So I'm super excited to finally get back into questing, uh, getting uh, some more progress done on this account, and really just making up for some of those uh, lost months of not being able to play. So I'm super excited. If you guys like, please drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and uh, let's go get this episode started. What is going on everyone little chichi here and welcome back to episode 45 of the runescape pier series on today's episode we are actually doing a bit of questing something we haven't done for a little while but we are actually trying to unlock the thralls or the uh the book of the dead i think and that's only done by doing the quest a kingdom divided unfortunately to do the entire kingdom divided quest we have to actually lock in some pretty decent karen favor which is going to take us a little while because we have to complete all of the different ones. I think for the only one that I've done, which is just a Hasidious one, I still need to knock out um, Arceus and all the other ones. So one by one, we're going to knock all these out. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I'm already dreading this one. But yeah, pretty much going to do this until I unlock all of the different favors. And uh, it's going to be... A for you guys, you're going to watch this and it's going to be like three minutes. For me, it's going to be like a couple hours. So <laughs> let's get right into it. All right, going to cash in all of these books because I literally have no room, but I think we can cash them all in for, I think, runecrafting XP. So let's go ahead and cash these in for runecrafting. Sweet. We are pretty close to level. I think that was a good chunk of XP, so... Let's do another round. We are right now 35% Arceus favor, so let's finish this out. All right, doing my second batch. We're at 72%. Got another full inventory of these books. Let's cash in for some runecrafting XP. Dang, we're almost nearing a level right now. We're only less than a thousand away. So decent um, XP in runecrafting, but so far, we're almost there, like less than 30%. So once we get this, we can move on to doing other favor within Karend. All right, we have located the last and final book. We can probably cash in all of these uh, books so we can actually get a single level in Groom Crafting, which if you guys don't know, is like my freaking worst hated skill ever to train. So this is actually pretty decent XP considering this is, you know, I won't say super chill, but it was like not that bad of a grind. I hated this one before. I had to do this on the main a while back, but there we have it. 100% Arceus favor. Let's go. Let's cash in all these books quick. All right. And that is boom. 57 room crafting. Pretty sweet. To finish the Arceus, um, let's do Piscarillus. I feel like that one's going to be pretty easy to get or maybe pretty difficult. Don't remember. But let's go knock out uh, Piscarillus next and get this one off the books. All right. Time for Piscarillus, which is, um, I think, this thing. I have to do this till 20% which allegedly is going to take me quite a bit. So, and I think I'm going to need more than 20 blanks. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I heard this is going to be take a while. So hopefully it won't I'll tune you guys back in when I get 20% and then we can focus on getting the rest of Piscarilla's favor. Oh my God. Finally, after like 120 planks, we are now done. 
with the first 20% of the Piscarilla's favor. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the second portion, which I think is just delivering some fish over to Frankie or something. So, yeah. Uh, I'll tune you guys in when I'm done with that. <laughs> oh, my God. This is probably a bit... You know, I think the repairing of these cranes were back there are a lot easier than doing these stupid fish things. Like, at least with the cranes, I could, like, kind of be AFK, but these stupid barrels, like, trying to deposit them to this cooling chest has been such a drag, but this should be... There we go, 30%. So now I can do the last portion, which I think is like collecting buckets of sand and something with worms in it or something. So about to go knock that out. Man, I literally can't wait till this is over. Just that 10% from 20 to 30, ugh. Anyways, let's get the rest of this uh, knocked out pretty soon. All right, so this should be literally the last trip I've had to spend so much time trying to clear up and gather all these stupid sandworm castings, and this should be it. Let's see. 100% Piscarillus. Let's go. So all is left is Lova and Shazian, and I will be done with all of the current Man, this thing is taking fucking forever but i'm just i'm over almost done and uh yeah hopefully we can knock this out pretty soon uh and be able to have everything complete so we can go ahead and start getting the prereqs done for uh, a kingdom divided all right and once i submit and turn in these crates deliver nice little xp drop there but more importantly 100 percent lovakin favor let's go and I'd like to give a shout out to over to Ghostphobia. Sincerely appreciate showing me this method of putting the armors together. Um, alternatively, I think you could get 100% favor if you mined like these like sulfur things. So instead of doing that method, um, he actually showed me this a uh, lot easier uh, method of just turning in and making little armor crates uh, and submitting them. So sincerely appreciate it. Thanks so much, Ghostphobia. All right. We should be done, I think. There we go, boys. 100% in all favors. I just wrapped up the last bit of it. Thankfully, all of this is complete. 100% in all different favors. Let's go look at the Kingdom Divided. I think... Not looking forward to this. <laughs> but um, at least we have all the favor done, and we can actually start going ahead and uh, get this complete. Guys, I made a little bit of a mistake because I thought that I had done the client of Karend. It's been a while since I've done questing on this, but yeah, just a little reminder to complete your quests and check to see if you have them done before you start the favors. It'll make life a little easier. <sighs> but yeah, so I'm probably going to start the client of Karend and then uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started from there. Man, I am just messing up. So I can't even start the Klein of Karend until I complete X marks the spot, which, ugh, my goodness, like, why is this so difficult? <laughs> so I have to complete this, which are no requirements. So let me get this started and then I'll do the Klein of Karend. All right, X marks the spot. We are done with this. On to the Klein of Karend. Boom, complete, fantastic. All right, so now we can start doing some other quests within this, let's see. All right, so a kingdom divided. We still need to complete all of these quest requirements, the queen of thieves. Oh man, these are like legit quests. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to these at all. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna go from the, from the top to the bottom. So kingdom divided, so the queen of thieves. So here goes a long list of quests. It's gonna take a bit, but we're gonna get it done. Queen of thieves complete, on to the next one. All right, and boom, deaths of despair complete. All righty, the ascent of Arceus is complete. Next one is, so we've completed the Depths of Despair, Ascent of Arceus, Forsaken Tower is next. 
There we go. Mining, smithing, forsaken tower complete. All right, so the last two are a tale of righteousness and architectural alliance. Let's do the tale of righteousness. All right, boom, a tale of righteousness complete. All right, this should be the final cutscene. I don't think I'm going to get a quest complete. Yeah. So it looks like I'm all done for the quest. All I have left to do is, I think, yep, that's everything. So we can finally start a kingdom divided. So let's go. All right, I think this is, oof, perfect timing. A kingdom divided, finally complete. Uh, antique lamp, but of course we have the additional Arceus spells that we can finally utilize. And even a Karen respawn point, which is actually pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and use this antique lamp. Of course, your boy hates rune crafting, so I'm gonna throw that on there. 10k XP. I think that's a level, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, 58 rune crafting. We're gaming, boys. And I think, ooh, the new book, boys. All right, and now that we have the book of the dead, let me go ahead and show you guys what this is going to do for the account. I did want to show you guys what the thralls look like up close and what the book actually unlocks for me. This is a huge unlock, again, like I mentioned for Chambers of Zero, but why is that? Because I can actually summon these three thralls. So it's actually gonna be really good for raids. So I can actually summon one of these thralls. Ooh, that's a sick animation. So this thrall is actually really cool because it can actually do a ton of damage for me while I'm doing raids, as I'm doing different content throughout the entirety. Not just raids, really just in general PVMing. So it's going to be a huge unlock having this little guy help out and assist with attacks. And I can actually summon other ones. I think this one, I could be wrong, but I think it's magic. The second one is the um, the skeleton, which I think does range attacks. Yeah, because you can see the little bow in its hand. So overall, this will be really good for like final phase ohm, where you're attacking the head. And then the final one, which is the greater zombie which i think is just melee so it's super cool and the animation i mean come on 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 uh <laughs> on rune light hd this thing just looks absolutely crazy and then uh, again it, you can after 10 seconds you can just redo this so as you're going through throughout the raid or going throughout your general pvming just sum, summon one of these thralls and it'll help you out so i feel like this is gonna be really good for unlocking for slayer um oh man i just can't get over that that's so sick um i'm probably gonna test it out actually really quick let's let's try this out on a monster oh man does this bring anybody back to the good old days of when you were here man i <laughs> i used to make a ton of money here i used to thought i was making bank when whenever i would get like a snap or like a rainar seed like i thought i was gaming so let's actually try this out so if i do the summon the greater ghost which i think is the magic one and attack this ogre i think see it'll even do damage so it just did a three for me another three so i wonder if it does consistent threes wow this thing is like crazy okay so it does miss so it's not like it does like unlimited amount and then it'll unaggro until i re-aggro it again so that's really dang 34 that's insane so again this is going to be a pretty cool unlock having these uh these little thralls helping out on raids oh man that's so sick the animation looks so awesome wow look at that let's summon another one some of the last one the melee thrall I wonder what the attacks look like It's pretty quick to like adjust too. I mean, I think the max hits a three, but still, I mean, throughout a raid, I think that's an extra bit of damage, extra bit of DPS too. So I don't mind. I think this is a really cool unlock and I'm really happy I finally have this on the account. So again, I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in every single episode. Um, and of course, your boy has to match the book up to the fashion scape. I mean, come on. I think the only thing I need to change is the my mage scape. I think I need to ch change that to the, the Sarah Doman one. But, but yeah, that'll just about do it for today's episode. Again, I'm super excited. I mean, come on. Thralls, a huge unlock for the account, huge unlock for the peer. And I can't wait to test this out on PVMing for chambers for sure. And like any other content that I can think about. So, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next one.